All right, welcome everybody on YouTube, and of course, everybody here in Twitch chat as well. We have Jun to aggro up next. Um, threw this one together here on stream a little bit ago. Honestly, not exactly sure how well this will work, but we're going to be trying it out. Um, we're just kind of playing some a lot of the new cards and kind of seeing what happens with them. Uh, you know, lots and lots of new cards here from Ravnica Allegiance. There's certainly could be cards that are not worth it in this deck. But maybe there, maybe we'll find some cards we like. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and kind of get to our games. It's kind of late here right now while we're recording. And I have a 12-hour stream scheduled for tomorrow. So, not going to go through and explain the deck a ton. But let's just try it out. Let's play some games, attack our opponent, see what happens. Light of the Stage could be okay there. Um... Yeah, we may find that triggering um, the like that actually dealing the damage to the opponent's a little harder for us to deal with. Um, oh, did we get to? Yeah, so I need to I need to change the stream title. We're playing Jund Agro, and yeah, I need to change the. Change over here. We're not Jun mid range. We're Jun aggro. Uh, the hand doesn't look so great. Okay, this one. This one's better. Let's hopefully draw a two drop. We're gonna play two drop into Spellbreaker into Spawn of Mayhem. No two drop, but uh, got another Spellbreaker. If the first one wasn't enough. Gonna go with the one one counter here. I think we should be able to trample in for damage. They play a lot of like three man or three power things. Wild Growth Walker is a little scary. I don't have a removal cell for it, it gains a lot of life. I don't have any plans to go to an IRL tournament anytime soon. This is my job, streaming every day here from 3 to 10, and I enjoy it, and that's what my plan is, to keep streaming here. Alright, Spawn of Mayhem. Get some work done. So they double block Spellbreaker. I am... Okay, they are not. They, I was going to say if they would do that, I would just be blocking, um, or I'd just be killing the Wild Growth Walker. Yeah, I still have the paper cards lying around the house. Ooh, opponent could not handle the mayhem. Too much mayhem for the opponent. I have no no sideboard whatsoever for this matchup, so I guess I'll just go ahead and hit submit. <laughs> Dude, Spot of Mayhem looked really nice there, and so did the Girl Spellbreaker. Yeah, it looks like maybe Spawn should just be a four of. I only have two of them in the deck. We drew them both. They were great. Yeah, looks like we need two or more of those already. I already found something wrong with the deck. Mm -hmm. 
did we get to 35 subs a little while ago? Like while I was like building deck and everything? I have it listed at 34, but I actually think we're may maybe at 35 and maybe I was supposed to buy a pack. Now that I come to think of it. I don't remember. Ooh, that's a mulligan. All right. We got two drop goblin into three drop spawn. Could also just go two drop. It was 35? Dang it. I missed that. I'm at 36. Oh, we don't have spawn yet. Good, good call. We don't have spawn yet. Octopi with a sub on Twitch Prime. Thank you so much, Octopi. And that checks our counters. Counter says 36. So, yep, Hawkeye, we need to get a pack after this match. Thanks for the support, Octopi. All right, so 36 out of 40. We get a basic land. Huh. Don't have any of those. That's too bad. Oh, right, boot? Yeah. You won a match last night with at one life with spawn and play. That was great. <laughs> nah, we don't need no basic lands. Get this theater horrors in play. My opponent was kind of not doing stuff over there. I think they were like trying to ravenous chupacabra us or something. I'm gonna go ahead and play this for Kindling Phoenix. That's a good card. Thanks, opponent. Man, what are they doing over there? They're not doing much. Okay, what are they doing? What are they doing over there? They didn't do anything. All right, one and oh. Maybe our deck's perfect. All right, pack time. Maybe we'll get Maybe we'll get an extra spawn of mayhem. That's what I'm hoping we get. <laughs> they're conceding. That's all they're doing over there. All right, spawn of mayhem. Ugh, mass manipulation. Bleh. All right, 1-0. I will, to be honest, I'm going to be surprised if we get five wins with this deck, you know, like we just kind of throw it together here. It's, it's kind of a mess. So I'll be surprised if we go 5-0, but you know, yeah, we definitely need, we definitely need, this deck needs some tuning for sure. hundred percent. But yeah, this could be a real deck. All right. I'll just keep, I mean, we mold to six, both those hands. I'll keep this seven. Um, I'm just, that's probably a waste of a lot of coil. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is, but just casting it right now because it's something to cast because we're going to be casting spells the next few turns. I want to kind of stay on curve. Yeah, like we're going to be able to spend our mana, so let's stay on curve.
Next turn, do I Midnight Reaper? Then the following turn, Growth Chamber plus Activate. If I played Growth Chamber next turn, I could activate and grab another Growth Chamber and play it. Nice, Darth. Okay, cool. So I'm loving Gruul in the new set, but it doesn't look like it can stand alone. Is Jund going to be where Riot finds a home? Potentially. Not sure yet. Ugh, Tribunal. Rude. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to play the Midnight Reaper because I don't want to play Growth Chamber Guardian and have it get Tribunaled. And then we don't get the token from it. Yeah, Thorn Lieutenant is certainly a, a, a pretty good card that we could try there. Hmm. Why did they not attack with Sky Marcher Aspirant? I don't even know. And now next turn, if we draw a land, we get to go Phoenix plus 2-drop. Hmm. I'll block their Night Token with Midnight Reaper if I have the chance. If they just, like, if they would have attacked out here, I would have traded there. All right, and there's our land. So Phoenix, Guardian. All right, they only got one card plus the card they just drew, so they got two cards in hand. Hopefully they're, they're not very good. Well, that's like the best possible card you could ever have. I think their aggro deck may be a little better than ours. Hmm. Moment of craving? That card doesn't need to do anything. Whoops. Eh, I guess I could play it. Don't think I... So, Midnight Reaper and Theater of Horrors aren't necessarily the best here. But they're also not that bad. I could just cut all the theater. I'm kind of run worried about running out of cards. This is AFI, Silver and Cold is the name of the song. Wait, whoops, not cold. Sorry, code. There you go, there's the code right there to get three free packs. Play Allegiance, you get three free packs of Ravnica Allegiance. Theater isn't really a, a dead card. So their deck has tons and tons of spells in it, actually. So I'm going to be playing these duresses because they have, you know, History Banalias, Conclave Tribunals, Heroic Reinforcements. They could certainly have Experimental Frenzy. Yeah, I really liked that AFI song. That's a good one for sure. Yeah, Chain Whirler is not a bad option for sideboarding. I... It could be difficult to cast Trips Red. Uh, we could go with like Plague Mare um, as well. I don't think that, see, I think that's the problem. I don't think we're slightly bigger than them. I think that uh, with cards like Benelish Marshall and Venerate Luxodon and History Benali, I think they're, they're bigger. I think that's the problem. Yeah, we broke 2,000 viewers earlier, over 1,900 now. Yeah, it's 
It's been a really good day. Going back tomorrow, we'll be streaming for 12 hours tomorrow. All right, Steamkin, I need you to do some work. No attacks. I finished ninth at my sealed today. Top eight was the prize cut off. Oh man, animal crackers. I'm sorry. Dang, but still, still a good job getting ninth though. Um, that's still, you know, even though it kind of feels bad, that's still, you know, not an easy accomplishment. And you did well. Good job. Well, the, the Gruel Spellbreaker has met a baffling end. Alright, now we can get this duress out here, take another one of these spells. Settle the wreckage? Do I just take settle? Nah, I took heroic reinforcements. Oh, that's a good point. I'm immune to settle with Spellbreaker. Yeah, Spellbreaker. So wait, so our opponent knew about Spellbreaker the last time and they put Settle the Wreckage in their deck. Interesting. Okay, so Dante Vanguard, not too big of a worry. How am I making this attack? So if we... They're at 19. That's still just so much life. If I attack with the Spellbreaker, they need four power to block it. So they have to trade like Bodyguard plus half of Hunted Witness plus half of Hunted Witness. Like they trade like those three for the one Spellbreaker. Which is honestly not the worst trade for them. I can... Uh, So I can use Steamkin just to play Spellbreaker. Also, I think I'm gonna do that. Oh, that's true. Judith pings anybody, not just them. Okay. And them not not blocking is just great for me. Thanks for the sub there, bad. We're at 37 subs on the day. We're at Okay, you're late. No, you're okay. There you go, 37. 
All right, there we go. Moment of craving. Do I want to haste up this goblin and attack with it as well? I'm casting it to grow the steamkin, um, but I'm not going to haste it up. No, maybe we do haste it up. Yeah, I'm hasting it up. All right, we'll go and haste. Can we do a goblins deck tomorrow with a sorcerer that makes goblins based on the number of itself, plus legion war boss and goblin commander that makes even Judith and that enchantment that deals damage if you swing with one power creatures? Wait, but then that enchantment, if you swing with one power creatures, plus Judith, those aren't really a combo. Yeah, so we're going to just attack out. This is Foo Fighters all my life. Yeah, all my life. <laughs> All the Foo Fighters songs do kind of sound the same. That is definitely true. Alright, so we're going to get this game. I don't really like our chance too much for game three on the draw, but, you know, we'll, we'll see. I, I don't think this is like how we talked about before. I think they're just going to go bigger than us, and it's not so good for us. Um, we played we played a Mardu Angels earlier, which you can find in the uh, in my Stream Decker decks, streamdecker.com slash deck slash Todd Stevens MTG. Alright, I don't want Vivian on the draw. We could Daredevil Heroic Reinforcements. Is Daredevil better? I guess Daredevil is probably just better than Midnight Reaper. We're going to play just a couple Daredevils as some more two mana blockers. Daredevil's good with Judith as well. Hmm. Yeah. Don't like all these ETB tap lands, but... Well, Daredevil doesn't target... We can't target our own things, but I guess... I, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, if we duress a spell from their hand. They just don't usually play very many spells, which is kind of the problem. Cindervines is okay against their removal, but it costs a lot of mana. You know, like, we're looking at three mana destroy enchantment. I, guess, I mean, it, it does destroy, like, History Banalia... But they still have the 2-2. Two -two. I don't know. We're going to dress here. Hopefully take a history of Benalia. And there's a history. They have double Benelish Marshal. That's going to be tough. Double Benelish Marshal is going to be tough. Hmm. 
all tap lands, unfortunately. Who is this protecting? Loris, thanks for the song request there. I'll get you here in just a minute. So the so Phoenix Phoenix just gets Conclave Tribunaled. Ugh. Alright. So we have Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Can you move for just a minute so I can I can type and stuff? Thanks. So yeah, Phoenix will get Conclave Tribunaled. I mean if we if we do this We have to do this and double block a Benelish Marshal or they tribunal one and we chump block. All right, so we chump block. I, I don't think I can't think of anything in our deck that we can possibly draw for the next turn. We don't have any kind of sweeper. Stop. All right, we are dead. Okay, what was our song request here? All right, here's our song request. All right, one and one. So that's okay. I think that's going to be just a matchup we're not going to really win. I think for the most part we're going to want to face, um, you know, we're going to want to face like control decks and removal heavy decks and stuff. That's what we're. That's what our decks really built to beat. Whoops, not two zero. That's a matchup I need to need to find something to do in the sideboard for that matchup. Um, I need to find something to do in the sideboard there. Uh, yeah. I mean, if we just draw a land in the first two turns and get to play Theater of Horror on turn three, I really like where we're at. Yeah, I had Ritual of Soot in the sideboard, which even in that scenario, uh, tilt, same matchup. Ritual of Soot wouldn't have saved us because of the bodyguard, but... Hey, Baloney Pony. Oh, it's tokens. Okay. Maybe we can run over tokens with some flyers. Come on, land. Alright. Oh, I should play I should play spawn here. I should just play spawn. I forgot about spawn costing three there for a second. Is the song really quiet? Hmm. I think we're just playing another theater. So we can trigger a Steamkin. I need some lands. But like, if our opponent plays like Tristani, can't really beat that card. All right, 
right, let's draw land. Get this Phoenix or spawn in play. I played some of the first main phase to grow the to grow the steamkin though. That that's what I that's what I played at first main phase before. I'd rather that get that that get tribunal, I think, than than runaway steam or than rekindling phoenix. Sorry, than rekindling phoenix. So that's why I went with that one first. If they had another, they had another tribunal. Um, <clears throat> I'm not in love with Ry rhythm of the wild. Uh, Tristani, that's the card that I can't beat. Huh. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. It's hmm. Alright, well that worked. Alright, what do we got under here? We got an overgrown tomb and a rootbound crag. So I guess I hit him so I can play all these spells. Let's see what we can play. All right, so we're gonna play the rootbound crag, and we got five mana, so we can go spellbreaker with a counter and the growth chamber guardian. Yeah, suddenly new hand. <laughs> they must have like another Tristani? Oh, Pride of the Conquerors. Alright, well we're not dead. Not yet, at least. Or an entire two life. Hold to life. It's really good against like removal heavy decks and stuff. It's not not necessarily good right now or in this matchup for theater. Like whenever <clears throat> whenever you're both playing, um, now we're just dead. Whenever you're both. Uh, Oh, I wasn't dead. Tristania was a 1-4. I could have blocked everything else. But, yeah. When you're both being um, aggressive, it is, it is not very good. That was Star of Syrah by Arion. That was that song request. Thank you for that one. All right. I again don't really have things for this matchup. They have plenty of spells. I'm going to be dressing them. Maybe I maybe I do just cinder vines. I don't know. Let's try out cinder vines. Let's try it. I have not played a martyr humans aristocrats deck yet. Um, I'm planning on doing playing one of those tomorrow. I'm not a huge fan of Rhythm of the Wild. I think it's good against decks that we are already good against. All 
Okay. Do I want to go Cinder Vines on turn two or the Gobo? Alright, Conclave, Seal Away. They have Knight of Autumn. Looks like I'm playing the Goblin. I know Seal Away cannot get Spellbreaker. At least, well, on my turn it cannot. Whoops, not you. But, um, Conclave Tribunal kind of costs a little bit more mana, so I'm going to choose that one. I think the Mono Red decks are, are I think it's both. I mean, at the beginning of last format, Mono Red was, like, you know, the best performing deck as well. And I think that that's going to maybe be the case here also. And I'm going to just go with the 1-1 counter. Or, sorry, I'm going to go with the Haste. Sorry, not the one. I'm going to go with the haste because I'm kind of expecting like a Conclave Tribunal here pretty quickly. Let's just attack. Glass of the Guild pack, I think you want to be playing that more in an afterlife theme. I don't think you want to be taking a turn off in a deck like this to play that card. Um, but uh, more of a token based theme like with the afterlife tokens that are multicolored. I think that's where you could uh, glass the guild pack could shine. Hmm. They didn't take the spellbreaker. I still want to make these three, you know, I want them three power to be able to uh, tussle with the Knight of Autumn. Hmm. I guess I'm playing Cinder Vines here. And end step, destroying that Conclave Tribunal. We'll see if they play a non, non creature spell. I think Jund has. I think Jund will fit pretty well in the RNA meta. I think it has lots of really good tools. I mean, it has it has kind of everything in the color, uh, in the three color combination. It has like basically everything you'd want. Um, you know, it'll take time. For it, like the meta to kind of settle down and and it figure out like the all the cards it really wants, like to optimize the deck list, you know, similar to how Golgari mid range took a while. It wasn't like the week one deck or anything. All right, finally we got Phoenix. <clears throat> so I expect them to double block. Um, and in the case, I'm going to be killing Amara, of course. And hopefully that last card isn't another removal spell, and that one's not either. And this Phoenix finishes this game up. We've been doing fine. Kind of overall on the... On the play, it's winning this game three on the draw, just like last time. This is going to be tough. Didn't love the Cinder Vines. 
Maybe I'll play a couple moments. I don't hate the Cinder Vines either. We're going to keep in two. Put in two moments. They had a lot of things that Moment of Craving killed. I don't think Cinder just won the game. It was, you know, Cinder, it was just three mana Goblin, basically. It was just three mana, three, three. That's all that card was there. Uh, Hozier, take me to church. And this, this usually picks it up after about 30 seconds. Okay. We got a shockingly painful mana base in our hand. Hopefully it works out though. Yeah, the green ooze that creates tokens was was really fun. We just got done playing that card. All right, now I could play a three three. I don't want them to like kill the three three and be able to attack it and start getting value from that, or just you know convoke with that use conclave tribunal. So just waiting a turn. All right, and now we'll play three three. Yeah, that was our last deck, the Quasi Dupla Ooze. That was our last deck that we just played. So they cast seal away on this. They take a damage. And we'll just be able to blow it back up. A control deck? Yeah, I was thinking about I was thinking about playing like a a Mardu control deck. Because Mardu gets Deafening Clarion and Kaya's Wrath. I like the Lava Coil draw because it stops us uh, or helps us against um, Tristani if they draw that. And I'll just activate this thing right now. All right. Oh, I can blow it up with, when it's on the stack. Oh. Yes, yeah, so that's my bad. Sorry, yeah, so I could have I could have used my Cinder Vine with the Seal Away on the stack, and my creature would have never been ex exiled and would have dealt the three points of damage there. Alright, we are two and one. John Dagro coming back. Uh, add suggestions to the music list right now. Just just tell me in chat and I write it down right now. Uh, in the future, that's going to be a uh, that's going to be there's going to be an option for that. Like in the Discord channel, they'll make it a lot easier. That I am planning on working on. What's your least favorite card in standard right now? Mine is Nexus of Fate. Um, that's a good least favorite card. Are we on the play or the draw? Either way, I'm just going to get rid of this. We're on the play. Um, 
I got Queen Don't Stop Me Now right now. I think Bittersweet Symphony... I'm, I actually think that's in the playlist, I think. I know Queen Don't Stop Me Now is in there. Alright, Demir Control. So I'm just activating the Growth Chamber Guardian right now while we know we can activate it. And go and get another one. Attacking. You just type the song the uh, or if you'd like to like so if you just want a suggestion for me to consider putting on the playlist, just you know type it in there. If you'd like to do a song request, it's just a it's a two dollar donation, and also just let me know what the song is in the donation. So this is the kind of matchup where we really want to draw Theater of Horrors. I think the Teamer deck is going to have many good tools as well. I'd like to see you test a version of it soon. Alright, I got you there with the Lemma Tray, not too late. I wrote that one down. To for me to listen to later to see if I want to add it. Okay, so let's go Steamkin, Spellbreaker, hmm, I'll just wait on Spellbreaker. All right, well now I wish I would've played Spellbreaker. Well, I'm going to now, but... Um, I never really played professional paper magic. I used to travel on the SCG Tour. Um, but, you know, anybody can do that. Alright, Spawn of Mayhem, do your thing. Our deck is sweet. But yeah, I don't, I don't have plans to play Paper Magic anytime soon. I'm enjoying streaming every day. Okay, so we're attacking for six right now. Spawn's dealing one damage, so that's a seven. Man, I wish I could just cast that. Just put a counter on the Steamkin. But, you know, casting that at any either of my things will not be a good idea. Really want to draw one of these four theater horrors. Okay. That's good. No more no other removal spells? Spawn of Mayhem, FTW, Upkeep Trigger, there's the Theater of Horrors also. You, you. Hmm, huh. alright. So 
So even if Spawn of Mayhem doesn't get there, we have the theater that can start doing damage. The choices we make reveal who we are. All right, Spawn of Mayhem. Yeah, I think it, it definitely deserves four uh, spots in the deck. Thanks, Cryptic. Yeah, it's the cat stream. This is, it's Hawkeye, that's his name. Uh, Daredevil is awesome here. You know, like Daredevil, their discard spells. And we want Duress, and we want Vivian Reed, and Cindervine. Yeah, Cindervine seems really cool. What's not good, nothing? Okay, all of our cards are good, actually. Except for Lava Coil. I guess this Goblin's just like a... This Goblin and Steamkin just kind of... Or Goblins and Steamkin. I don't... Maybe I don't need four Cinder Vines. I don't know. Maybe I just don't need all these Vivians. They go later, though. Steamkin out. I kind of still need... I guess I'm going to take out Judith. Judith, like, doesn't have haste or anything. And I'm taking out Judith. I can't just have... I can't just get rid of all my two drops. I'm going to play two Cinder Vines. Midnight Reaper is awesome. Um, I could certainly see playing a Rhythm of the Wild in the sideboard. Uh, yeah, our sideboard still needs a lot of work. I've, I've been more impressed with Cinder Vine against control heavy decks, though, than Reaper of the Wild. In general. All right, we got another slow hand. We're drawing. We got all the the dual lands instead of shock lands this time. <laughs> yeah, Mr. yeah. Mister Previous says I feel like John just has too many good cards. I want to make like a hundred decks with it, right? John has John has access to everything. Basically, all right, getting quasi dupe. Dupla Ooze up on YouTube right now. Hmm. Go Phoenix, go! Were they Grixis or are they just blue black? I thought they were Grixis before. No, I guess maybe they are just blue black. This is 30 seconds to Mars. Quasi Ooze did really good. We went 5-1 with it, but one of our matches was just like our opponent didn't even like they got disconnected or whatever, so we, we didn't actually play a match. So it was really like 4-1, but still real good. Alright, so Cinder Vines can take out that Elish Reborn. So 
So next turn we can uh, play Theater Horrors plus kill the Eldest Reborn. Do I attack? No. That card's good. I guess our opponent didn't think I was going to block. Yeah, bluff called. Hmm. Lagwire, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for that sub. Sub number 38 on the day. All right, and Quasi Dupla Ooze, I think, is up on. Up on YouTube now. I will find you may regret that choice. So kind of good thing about like these Phoenix, these theater horrors, we can kind of keep our our hand size to be nothing. All right, what do we have under here? Cinder vines, Daredevil, Daredevil contempt. I need to deal damage to them first. So I'd have to pay four to deal damage to them, and then two for Daredevil, and then four for contempt. That's a lot of mana. Um, I'm just going to play this card. And Judah Dev also getting in on the action. That's sub number 39 of the day. Thanks, Judah Dev. And yes, yeah, so you can check out my YouTube later if you want to see any of these other sweet decks that we've played today. We've done really well with all of them. If you want to see the replays of them. Um... Where we're going 5 0, 5 1, and 5 1 today. We don't really trade 3 mana for Thief. Like, if we. If I attack here. Oh, I guess Phoenix. They don't get the Phoenix back. Right, they don't get Phoenix back. That's definitely true. Are you certain of your decision? Hmm. I kind of want these theater horrors to get some lands for me. I need to, you know, hit a lot of land drops. You hit like lands every single turn. Yeah, I I should have attacked with Growth Chamber Guardian because they don't get theirs back. So I should have attacked with this last turn. I'm surely going to attack with it this turn. Another Cinder Vines. Another Spellbreaker. All right, I think I'm attacking with these two over at Karn. That's, that's a fine attack. Okay, I like this trade. My retribution will be swift. Hmm. 
Hmm. Do I want to? So I could activate and play another one. Like, do I want to play even more things out to a Ritual of Soot? With them making that trade, it's kind of telling me that they are fine. Like, they, they like their Thief of Sandy dying. That's kind of telling me they, they have a Ritual of Soot. Yeah, I think next next turn is, is the Cinder Vines turn. Next turn I can, like, ping them and play two Cinder Vines. Or if I hit them, I get two Cinder Vines. This will aid us. Are they taking syncopate? Or campaign? Alright. Called it. I'm a little surprised they didn't just attack with Rekindling Phoenix, and then I block. Maybe it's a little too risky if I don't block. They want to keep Karn alive. That's fine. Hmm. All right, duress you. They just have Thief of Sanity. Interesting. Alright, let's ping them. Alright, what do we got? Overgrown Tomb. Just go get Spellbreaker. Put Spellbreaker into play. Um, could get another theater horrors in play. Yeah, I'm certainly attacking with my Phoenix. I'm just going, let's go haste. Kill Karn. There are greater battles. We're at eleven. Alright, so they're not getting aggressive at all. I, I think... I kind of like them attacking there, honestly. If I'm on their side. So we're seeing if we can trigger the Thief of Sanity for free and get access to all seven of these cards. That'd be quite nice. They got Dispersal. Dispersal's really annoying. Bounce Phoenix, I discard. Okay, so let's let's ping them. Cause then I get then I get a land drop. So I'm down to nine. But we play Vivian, kill their Thief of Sanity. 
And now we have a Vivian in play. Let's see if you're... That can't help you now. Theta Horrors is sweet. It's like we have an entire another hand. They have all these disinformation campaigns trying to wreck our hand. Doesn't even matter. We got a new hand. So now we don't have to worry about it. Like, even if they, like, contempt our Phoenix, they can hit us with um, the Thief of Sanity. Are we going to deck, though, before we kill them? I guess I just real just thought about that. We're at 24 cards. That's not a lot of cards. <laughs> Josh, my phone has two hands. Hmm. Maybe I can't play another theater. Did we get a land? Alright, we did get a land. Good. Alright, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six mana. So I can play Cinder Vines and Phoenix. So they're at 27. Now they're at 26. Maybe they'll deck before us. They're going to draw a lot. Like, they're drawing, like, kind of just as many cards as us because of these campaigns. Like, they have they've kept up. They're at 26 and 21. But each one of these disinformation campaigns now, Cinder Vines is going to start pinging them. <laughs> you can't take my other hand away. <laughs> What are they getting? Cast down. Okay. Cast down. I don't know. It does something. So we have Spellbreaker. What's like the coolest thing we can Daredevil? Like we Daredevil Thought Erasure. Maybe it's just like Dispersal? Something like great to Daredevil right now. Want to get this spellbreaker out of there? Oh, we got a, we got a duress also. These are a thousand gold to enter these. Opponent could even play that other campaign and didn't even choose to. Okay, they're down to ten. Theater of Horror is going to keep pinging him. I guess they didn't want to play a campaign into uh, Cinder Vines. Yeah, I think we got this one. So I activated because I wanted the Haste Creature or Spellbreaker. So that's why I activated before, before damage there. Mystic. That card's a little annoying. Looks like I'm going to like Daredevil cast down that thing. Maybe I Daredevil Contempt it? I 
Okay. When you can be soul tie, I think. I mean, I, I like Grixis the most, like with the blue black decks, but. Um. So we activate. We have. Daredevil. My Daredevil cast down. I'll have. I'm just gonna Daredevil contempt. I'm just gonna keep my life total high, kind of just in case. Hmm. So I want to play the Guardian. I have to pay two life to play Guardian here. It's probably not necessary. I'll just pass. Yeah, and enchantments are are just so important uh, right now in in this metagame that playing just straight blue black where you cannot answer enchantments is probably just not uh, not advisable. Which I guess that's a problem with Grixis too, right? Like now with RNA just has uh, introduced like so many other uh, enchantments to the metagame that maybe even Grixis isn't where you want to be because you got to have answers to enchantments. So yeah, that's. So when, when you said soul type before, that makes sense. Um, no, blue-green Merfolk isn't that... Well, before RNA, blue-green Merfolk wasn't very good. But it did gain, gain a lot of cards. I haven't seen it with new cards. Um, it has stuff like Benthic, Biomancer, Zagana. It has some upgrades. Um, I haven't seen it with that. All right, we are three and one. Cindervines and Theaters MVP. Yep, absolutely. So that's those are the kind of matchups that that uh, our Jund Aggro deck wants to face here. We're gonna want to face control decks. Uh, mono white aggro, not so much. Yeah, this is the last tourney of the night. Usually I stream from three to ten, but these four decks have taken a long time. We've also spent a while building decks and everything like that too. Tomorrow, um, I am going to be, uh, um, yeah, it's already after midnight. Tomorrow, I'm actually supposed to be doing a 12-hour stream from 11 to 11 um, a.m. to p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is certainly a mulligan here. Rhythm of the Wild into the deck. I think it's kind of doing... Like, I like... Uh, I think it's similar to Theater of Horrors, but I actually just like Theater of Horrors more. Um, but I think it's similar there. Where, um, you know, it's like our three-man enchantment that's good against control and not good against aggro. That's what Rhythm of the Wilds is, also. Yeah, Mike, I was trying to finish these four the four leagues, but these games are just taking a while and we keep winning. Steamkin just because it's a really good two drop. And I wanted a really good two drop, and that's what Runaway Steamkin is. And gonna go, go ahead and just lead with the Steamkin here. I I don't think Fireblade is really that good. I think the two two body is honestly like Fireblade is really good with a deck built around it. But just putting Fireblade in a deck with like like a lot of other good big creatures, I don't think it's like a good place to start a curve. Um, The the two two body trades down a whole lot. It doesn't doesn't trade for something that great a lot. Just 
Doesn't look good for us. I don't have a whole lot of removal for Drakes. I think Drakes is also going to be pretty tough for us. I didn't really put in very much interaction for Drakes. We just have like the lava coils and like that's it. That's going to be kind of tough. We're going to need, uh, we're gonna need to not draw our theater of horrors here. We're going to need to have like our other creatures that can kind of size up. I mean, this game's over. Yeah, song. it's right above you. Uh, hard to explain by the strokes. It takes a little bit. Uh, Daredevil is really good because we can Daredevil their lava coils. And I guess and Vivian kills flyers. So we'll take that one. And I guess we maybe duress some stuff again. Judith again is... I want my deck to not be as weak to shock. Um, maybe I'm not actually playing the duresses. Midnight Reaper, not that good in this matchup. Doesn't. I may just take out Midnight Reaper. And one of these two drops, either Steamkin or Goblin. Um, oh, Theater of Horrors. We don't need theater fours here. All right, Judith, get back in here. Judith, actually, Judith can't help our smaller creatures get through. Never mind. Let's get Judith back in. You like cinder vines in this matchup? No, we'd have to be like pretty aggressive for that to work. Yeah, 4-2 Reaper is good, but that's the only time Reaper is good whenever whenever we do have a Judith in play. And there's only two Judiths. I don't want to try to like rely on Judith being in play. I don't think I like the Cinder Vines idea. I think on, like on turn two, I'd rather play like a 3-3 three, three or something. Um, later on in the game, it's also a dead card. I'd... I don't like the Cinder Vine idea. I think you'd have to you'd have to be playing like a bunch of one drops for Cinder Vine. You'd have to like like you want to play like a one drop into a Cinder Vine in this kind of matchup. No, I don't have any rhythm of the wild. All right, boy. Good night. All right, so we get a spawn of mayhem here. That should be pretty good for us. We don't have a second red for Phoenix, unfortunately. I've been really, really happy with Cinder Vines. I think it's better than Thrashing Brontodon. But they're for different matchups. Like, Thrashing Brontodon is a whole lot better against red. Where Cinder Vines better against control. Do I want to make the Spellbreaker a 4-4? Four, four? I probably do. I don't like Cinder Vines in this matchup. Yeah, that's insane. I don't like Cinder Vines in this matchup.
But I've been really happy with the card overall. And this is why Daredevil is so good. Daredevil doing its thing. If I would have made Spellbreaker a haste 3-3, three, three, we would have dealt three last three and then three, so we would have dealt two more damage than right now, so they would have been at five. And we'd have, you know, like two lethal creatures. So they only need one more spell to be able to get Rekindling Phoenix back. Or uh, Arc Light Phoenix. Yeah, Spellbreaker would not have traded with Future Drakes and would have traded with uh, Phoenix, which would have been which would be bad for us. So yeah, Cindervine is. It's a two-man enchantment that every time they play an instant or sorcery spell deals one damage to them. Uh, that's like the only text in this matchup. Um, or the, every time they play a non-creature spell. But all their non-creatures are instant sorceries, basically. It is good against Arclight Phoenix. Like, they're, you know, playing a bunch of spells for Arclight Phoenix. Yeah, the counter was looking good there, for sure. Alright, so Spellbreaker trades with Drake. Mm, they could just like have Phoenix Trump Spellbreaker. Consider playing like double growth chamber guardian there, but that would kind of help out like I guess two shocks kind of kind of plan. Yep, got that trample also. Definitely real good for us. They're down to one. Can we get this one last point of damage in? It'd be nice to draw a haste creature here. Okay, so they have to have, so if they go Drake, all right, so I'm, I'm attacking out. They could have one of the Drakes block the Goblin and then a Terramander block Rekindling Phoenix, um, but I'm still just trading Goblin for Terramander and I, I like that trade, so I'm just gonna do that trade. Yep, and that's exactly what they did. No, the Naya value deck was really good. 
That felt really good. Yeah, maybe Cinder Vines would have been good in this matchup. Looks like we're dead. I just... Yeah, looks like we're dead. Good games. I thought I had conceded. Yeah, conceded already. Yeah, that's what the that's what the Drakes do. That's what the Drakes do. Maximize Velocity is a great card. All right, three two, three two is not bad with our little janky John Dagro deck. Three two. So what's our what's our prize for going three two? All right, so we get one rare with the fifteen hundred gems. No, the only way to put cards that you don't own into your deck list on Arena is to make your deck list on a website like MTG Goldfish and um, copy paste the entire website, or sorry, copy paste the entire deck list over, um, and then it'll, it'll put them in automatically. Okay, so that was our John deck list. Um, you know, it's definitely needs some work. Uh, Steam can. Goblin was actually not so bad. Steamkin, kind of, I'm not so sure. It was, it was all right. Growth Chamber Guardian didn't feel like this was the deck for Growth Chamber Guardian. And, um, yeah, this probably wants to just go more Rakdos. Maybe some more Hand Disruption and, and stuff like that. I th you know, like, I think just staying with Rakdos. Spawn of Mayhem was amazing, though. So, certainly know that should be a four of. Um, but, yeah, we tried something a little different here. And uh, Cinder Vines, Spawn of Mayhem, those cards felt really good. So, all right. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you for the next video.